Uh, hi guys, I'm Anna, I'm 17 years old and uh, I live in Italy. Um, on YouTube I post video recipes where I show how to make some vegan recipes. The point of this video is that I'm not vegan. At the same time I'm uploading video recipes. I'd really want to turn fully vegan, but at the moment it is kind of impossible because I live at home with my parents, of course, because I'm 17 um, and they are against a vegan diet. So I think I am, will share why my reasons to turn vegan and uh, the reasons of my parents to be against um, my this choice. I want to be vegan mostly for two reasons. The first one is the ethical one, the one that every know, everyone knows. And uh, yeah, of course, vegan is a way to live a more sustainable and healthy lifestyle. And there are plenty of videos uh, of documentaries on uh, this uh, um, topic, so I want to uh, uh, talk about it. The second reason is uh, very personal. Um, I'm currently recovering from uh, an eating disorder I have faced uh, in the last eight, 10 months, like, yeah, maybe a an year. And um, during this eating disorder, I um, didn't feel good, I, I, I wasn't happy in my body. And um, while I, when I started eating more vegan, um, at first more vegetarian and then more vegan, I felt happy in my body for the first time after a long time. Vegan food makes me feel happy, it makes me feel comfortable in my body and this, is, this means the world to me actually because uh, it's a way to fully recover from uh, an eating disorder and to feel really better again to enjoy food, to love making foods, not counting calories, and all of that stuff. So these are my two reasons to go vegan and I think that there are good reasons actually. My parents on the other side don't want me to be vegan because if I'd go vegan I would need to take supplements like B12, vitamin D and probably iron because I'm always low on iron so yeah that would be much needed they think that taking supplements is futile when uh, you can have that kind of vitamins from the food you eat and in a normal diet so they're against me wanting to be vegan the only i could take that vitamins uh, from like meat eggs dairy but the fact is that I don't want. At the moment we're stuck in this argument where I want to be vegan, they don't want me to be vegan. This brings us to the reason why I started YouTube. Recording a video recipes where I show vegan food and I make vegan foods helps me actually to leave this situation for again two reasons. The first one is that uh, recording these videos and then editing it, doing the voiceovers and uploading them makes me feel surrounded by this vegan, vegan world and I feel more happy. And the second one is that if I can somehow uh, convince other people to, uh, turn to turn vegan, maybe just uh, uploading uh, videos where I show uh, how to cook some uh, easy and tasty and delicious uh, vegan meals. Uh, for me that is like the word. I can in some ways push other people to live a more ethical lifestyle. That's great, that's awesome. If you're facing a situation similar to mine, please write me in the comments or you can find me on Instagram. Tell me your stories, we can support each other in this journey which can be difficult but anyway I am 
I trust the process, you know. I think that one day I will turn 100% vegan and that way will be awesome. So I'm not complaining, I'm not crying. Um, because at the moment I'm not fully vegan. One day I will be and that will be great. So show me your stories. If you're not fully vegan as me at the moment, if you turned vegan, if you had to convince your parents for a while to go vegan, show with me your stories. I would love to read them and to reply to you. I decided to end the video with uh, what I eat in a day because I thought it would be cool to see what uh, I eat in one of my vegan days. If you want to support me, and that would be lovely in this moment where I'm not full of support from my parents. Uh, so, thank you. And let's start today. What I eat in a day. Breakfast was this cute smoothie bowl I used half an avocado frozen, dried berries and uh, I added a splash of coconut milk. Then I blended it all, you can use whatever food processor you want. And then I put it my smoothie in a bowl and uh, yeah, I made it look nicer. Then I added chia seeds, sesame and pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds for the superfoods and uh, that was my breakfast. Really delicious. Highly suggested. For lunch I made this pasta. So I put a pot with water and salt on the stove and I when the water was boiling I added pasta. Um, I blended together some black olives, dried tomatoes, mint and uh, oregon and uh, oil. I added salt and then I blended it till it reached a uh, cool consistency. Then I drained my pasta. And I added on top of it my olives and tomato topping. I also added on top some dried tomatoes, sliced, and that was it for lunch. For dinner I add these vegan meatballs. So I cut up an onion and I sliced it in small pieces. On a pan I added a half a tablespoon of olive oil and my onion and uh, I let them cook for a couple of minutes. And in the meanwhile I peeled uh, two boiled potatoes and I cut it down into smaller pieces. Uh, the same I did to a zucchini, uh, just a piece of zucchini. Uh, I grabbed some chickpeas, added them to a bowl alongside my salted onion, uh, the potatoes and the zucchini. I added a tablespoon of olive oil. as well as some salt and uh, uh, pepper and cumin and I also cut some fresh uh, rosemary then I blended it all until I reached a not so smooth consistency you want to leave some pieces in it to that I added a couple of tablespoons of breadcrumbs to make it thicker. Um, then I shaped my meatballs and uh, I covered them with other breadcrumbs. 
and uh, then I place them on a tray uh, ready for the oven. Okay, you want to make your um, meatballs small because they, yeah, they taste better. I aim that alongside some hummus and fresh vegetables. Cover uh, your um, meatballs with a drizzle of oil and just put them in the oven. Halfway through you want to flip your meatballs so they will be crispier on both sides. And yeah, that was all my dinner. It was really delicious, highly suggested. Um, yeah, that was all. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this what I did in a day and also the first part of the video. Uh, let me know in the comment and uh, follow me here and on Instagram. Bye!